Breaking overnight, state media in Lebanon say an Israeli airstrike has killed at least 10 people, including a woman and her two children. Israel's military said the air attack targeted a weapons depot used by Hezbollah militants. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected in Israel today as intense diplomacy continues, focused on a ceasefire in Gaza and the release of the remaining hostages. To give the peace talks more time, CBS News has learned that Iran is expected to delay any retaliation against Israel for the killing of a Hamas leader in Tehran this month. Ramy Innocencio has more from Tel Aviv. Ramy, good morning. And Dana, good morning. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's return here could be seen as a positive sign that negotiators are getting close to that ceasefire deal. He is here to finalize what's called a bridging proposal, basically suggestions to find common ground in the gaps that still exist between what Israel wants and what Hamas wants. Mediators didn't reveal details, but President Biden said we're closer than we've ever been. I'm optimistic, not far from over. Just a couple more issues, I think we got a shot. But while negotiations continue, so does the killing. Yesterday, our CBS News team drove to the West Bank village of Jit. That's where a mob of dozens of far-right Israeli settlers torched Palestinian homes and cars. We went to the funeral of a 23-year-old Palestinian man shot in the chest. The UN says settlers have attacked Palestinians in the West Bank more than 1,200 times since October 7th. In Gaza, Israel bombarded Khan Yunus again. That was in response to rocket fire targeting Israel this week. And our CBS News producer Marwan Algul texted us and said, quote, bloody hell overnight in the middle area of Gaza, non-stop bombing. He told us 15 members of one family were killed, eight of them children, five of them women. Still, ceasefire talks are set to move forward. Mediators say they will reconvene in Cairo before the end of next week with the goal of finally reaching that deal. There is hope that will get done. Jeff. Ramey, thank you.